So today I've been playing with Google's brand new Gemini AI model. In today's video, I'm going to be using the Python SDK to try it out. So before you get started, you're going to want to install the library and get authenticated. And to do that, we can actually just head over to this uh, URL, which I will leave in the description. Uh, you can follow these steps. Uh, effectively, it's just installing this library and then running these commands here. And this will basically get you authenticated and ready to go. You can also use the service account to authenticate, which is what I'm doing in this step here. Uh, but it's seems like documentation doesn't really recommend it so I'd recommend following the other step which is using this uh, G Cloud CLI to get yourself authenticated. So once you've installed the library you can just import from that library so vertex.ai.preview.generative models and you're going to want to import the generative model class. From there we can initialize our model by calling generative model and then passing in the ID of the model that we want to use which in this case is going to be Gemini Pro Vision. So now I'm going to start with the simplest example which is text in and text out. So I've created this function here which is just response text input it takes an, a text input as a string and it returns a string um, what it's going to do is it's going to call the generate content function and just basically take a single text input as a string for the contents argument and then we're just going to return the text property on the response so if I give this a try with the text input hello there how are you doing today see uh, what kind of response we get and here's our first response from the Gemini model uh, as an AI model I don't have personal feelings or emotions which I guess is accurate so that's good let's get into something a little bit more interesting and try giving it an image. So this sample is a little bit more involved, but it's still pretty simple to follow. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to import from Vertex AI preview generative models, but this time we are going to import the image component. We're also going to import URL lib dot request. We'll be using this library to basically fetch our image data from a server. So in this example, we're going to declare two functions, one of them to grab the image data from a URL and another one to pass that image data and the text prompt to the Gemini model. So let's do the load image one first. Uh, we're going to declare a function called load image from URL and it's going to take a single argument which is going to be an image URL which is a string and it's going to return an image which is that class we imported from the Vertex AI library earlier on. Next we're going to download that data and the way that we do that is just by going with URL lib dot request dot URL open and then passing in that image URL as response and then just going response dot read and caching that into the image bytes variable. And then finally we can return the image by going image dot from bytes and then passing in the image bytes that we've just read. So now let's have a look as to how we would pass that data to Gemini. So I'm going to declare another function called examine image and this is going to take two arguments this time to a text input and an image URL and it's going to return a string. First we're going to want to get the image data for the image URL that we're providing and we can do that by going image data equals load image from URL and passing in the image URL and next we can once again call generate content on our Gemini model to basically generate a response. But you'll notice that this time instead of just passing in a single item into our contents we're actually going to pass in two items in an array. We're passing in both our text input and our image data one after the other and then finally all we're going to do is return the model's text response. So to test it out, the text prompt that I'm passing in is which country was this photo taken in? And I'm going to provide it an image of Amsterdam. Uh, so I can just hit play to see if this works and scroll down to see the output. So it took about six seconds to process that, but the response I got back was this photo was taken in Amsterdam, Netherlands, which is super impressive. And then the final example, which is the one I was most curious about, is the video example. So in the same way that we can ask questions about images we provide, we can also ask questions about videos. So let's give that a try in this final example here. So the video that we're going to try is going to be this one here, which is a 13 second extract from a, uh, I believe, a blender video called Big Buck Bunny. Um, and it just looks like a large uh, rabbit coming out of a hole and then walking around. So once again, we're going to import from the Vertex API library. This time we're going to go from Vertex API preview generative models. We're going to import the part class. In the same way we did with the image example, we're also going to break this up into two functions too. We've got a get data from video URL function as well as an examine video function, which is going to be the one that's responsible for sending that data to Gemini. So first let's go through the get data from video URL. It's going to take video URL as a parameter and that's going to be a local video URL. We're going to open that video URL and we're going to pass in the mode as RB, R for read and B for binary. And then we're going to cache it into a variable called video file. Next we can just call the read function on that video file to get the video bytes and then we're just going to return the video bytes from that function. Next let's pass that data to Gemini. So to do that we're going to declare another function it's going to be called examine video. It's going to take two um, arguments. One of them is the text input and one of them is the local video URL. We're 
we're going to once again return a string. Uh, first, we're going to want to get the video data by calling that function that we just declared. We're going to go get data from video URL and we're going to pass in the local video URL that was provided in this function. And then once again, we're going to call generate content on our model. We're going to pass in an array of contents, but this time we're going to do something slightly different. So we're going to pass in our text input once again as the first input inside the array. But the second line is going to be initialized from this class called part. So we're going to go part dot from data and then we're going to pass in two arguments data equals video data and we're going to set the mime type to video mp4 because this sample video is an mp4 file if you were using an mov or something like that you might want to change this mime type and then just like before we're going to return the response.txt so now we can just give that a try so this example will take quite a bit longer this has taken 18 seconds but now we can see the response the video shows a, a rabbit emerging from a hole in the ground it's large and white with a gray nose and black eyes it looks around before hopping away the video is set in a forest with green grass and, tree and trees all around the sky is blue and there are some clouds in the distance so that is pretty impressive to me uh, that is exactly what is happening in this video which is really really cool and that's everything i wanted to cover in this video it's just kind of a quick sort of get started Started video to get you excited about what Gemini could do really. If this video helped you at all or maybe you've got some questions please do let me know in the comments and I'd also love to know if you're planning on building something with Gemini what do you think you're building? Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.